Oh man, Lord, Lord, I'm gonna pay attention to the comment section today. Got this, this for you lovely ladies, because y'all be draining me. <laughs> mm. And some questions today. Some ladies have, have questions, I got some answers. Hopefully a lot. Let me see here. It's quite a few. Let me send this to... There she is. There she is. There she is. Okay. So. Where are you at? How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing on this lovely Saturday? Hopefully it's Saturday where you're at. Here's where I'm at. East Coast. Eastern Standard Time. 12.35 p.m. I'll wait for her to come so I can answer these questions. Hmm. Because a lot of ladies have questions. As a man, we're supposed to have the answers because we are the leaders of this world. It's supposed to be. When things are out of order and it's the other way around, it tends not to work out. The women are turned off from mating, they're turned off from the pressure, and society collapses faster and faster. That just is what it is. I'm waiting for her so we can get this started. How you doing, Miss Robertson? How you doing, big homie, Kimi? How y'all doing? Just waiting for her. Well, man, maybe I can answer some of the questions. She'll have to look back to the live. So now she asked me about polygamy, all right? Polygamy, okay, so get it straight. Polygamy is basically having multiple wives or mates. Um, how you doing? And, you know, that's what it is. There's, di there's a difference between polygamy and cheating. It's not necessarily the same thing. Cheating, exercising options is different. Polygamy is having, there's, is a man, what's good, is a man who has multiple wives or multiple suitors that's what it is it's called a different word when it's the uh when it's the woman um it's it's uh polygyny i believe um man let me get my other phone give me one second guys let me get my other phone i don't know if somebody knows how to pause live let me know here i don't know how to but give me one second let me get my other phone ah. Because I'm going to get into this. I need her to come on here. <laughs> That's what he said. Uh, hold on. Let me see. I sent it to her. She needs to come on and ask these questions. Because what a lot of ladies got to realize is a lot of you are not solution oriented. There, even though you are and you ask a lot of questions. So, so polygamy. I'll start with that. Hey, D, uh, D Rose. Um, That's the questionnaire. All right. First, I answer about polygamy. Polygamy is basically a man having multiple wives or multiple um, women who he wants to mate with. And mating is having babies. That's what it is. Throughout society, top males have done this. Top men have done this. It's understandable. Most men are not to do it. It causes an issue. That's why it's illegal in most countries, even though it's done unofficially by many women. And since social media has exposed women to more options, the art of polygamy, or also just women sharing the same man, has been happening a lot and a lot. So it is what it is. Um, D Rose. So yeah, that that that's a, so. What? Why do you? Why can't you have babies with one girl? Now, it depends on the man. First of all, you want to have babies with a woman. So what's 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 good the definition for? We don't want to use the word girl. I'm just messing with you. Um, so you can't it depends on the man. So there most populations there's always been more women than men. So guess what? If all men and all women synced up, there will still be left over women. So it's important for a minority of women to share a minority of men. Right for reproduction standards in certain societies, right? That's why it happens so naturally. Like, okay, the issue is in our society, 
Women have been exposed to so much, they don't respect the average man, which is good enough. The average woman need to respect average men and be with them. I mean, if they want that above average man, they better know how to put in the work for them. But apparently, they just think they can just have it. So, certain in order for things to work out, there will always be top men having multiple babies, just how it is. And that's for a woman to understand and respect whether they like it or not, because in reality, it has to keep the world going. Now, most men will not be able to do that, which is understandable, which is correct. Most men should not be able to do that. Even though a lot of men may claim they want to say they want to do that, depends on the man, don't listen to him, all right? But don't put all men in one category. So what other questions you got, D-Rose? You got all, those, got all those questions. You got to understand and respect it. And I tell women to look past yourself. See, you are designed to be a more selfish creature than a man overall. And that's okay. Selfish is not necessarily a bad word. It can be. But you got to be because if you're, if you're doing like a man, you're spread too thin. History has shown that women, when they try to be like men, they're spread too thin. They can't take overall pressure in the areas we take. And they're frustrated. That's why this time period is when you're in the highest on antidepressants. It's a coping mechanism, right? And it's not good because it, just, it, it, it alleviates you for now. The next thing you know, you're depressed. You're going through it again and again and again. It's, it's, it's a money grab, and it's just, it just doesn't work in your favor. But what other questions you got? I miss uh, D Rose because it needs to be understood by by women and and by men. See, the woman I listen to, they listen to male content, right? Because the men are the leaders. It is our job to be more correct. We have to be. The day that women are more correct than men, you better pray like hell because society is going to collapse real flat, real fast. Now, just because a minority of men have empowered a majority of women over the majority of men, right? That has happened, right? So, hold on. Who said something? Oh, my God. You had all those questions. Hold on. Let me, I can't even. I have to go to my computer to. Hold on. How do I pause this live? I have to go to my computer to um, see. See? Now, well, that's what I said. You, you ladies ain't solution oriented. Now, let me stop. Let me stop throwing it into your face. You got you got the child. You got to do what you got to do. Um, hold on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna answer. Turn my computer on. And, and it's already on. And I'm gonna go through and answer your questions more thoroughly than I did. I also want to answer a question I did last night. Um, a woman I was talking about men venting in front of their woman, right? This is across the board. You, you either, to, either to not open up and vent to them. If you do, you need to limit that ish. It needs to be in a certain way. Now, there are exceptional women that can withstand it. But even those exceptional women have a, a quick th limit to that threshold. Way quicker than men do. Because men, we don't mind grooming. We don't mind... We don't mind Leading and instructing, we don't mind a woman who opens up and cries to us because we're men, we're the instructors. It doesn't tend to work the other way around. I need a woman to understand that. Just because I'm a more minority of men made a deal with a majority of women to sabotage a majority of men to make them like women does not mean that's going to be in full effect. Let's see. Let me see my chair. Somebody tell me how to pause. I'm talking about most women, bros. See, see, this is the thing. Even you ladies who have go off logic and are, are really smart and really shrewd, even you guys have problems dealing with facts when it comes to most women because a lot of you don't study each other. You study each other's empowerments, not each other's flaws. And it can blind to reality. Us men, we have to study our Empowerment and our flaws. Otherwise, we uh, the world collapses. We have to be more accountable than women. We have no choice. If we don't be, if we're not more accountable than women, I said the world collapses faster. It's already collapsing 
fast in the USA since uh, the minority of men has has tried to get people to emote like women. Hold on. There are different types of women. I'm generalizing. I'm not. When, it, when I'm generalizing, I'm saying most women. So there, 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 there's. You ask me what type of woman it comes to that. Most women. <laughs> most women. So it might apply to you. It might not. <laughs> All right. Let me go here. So I'm going to go through these. And like I told you, we are more solution oriented. We're in a straight line. You guys will speak more in a circle. That's why I wanted to be the leaders. That's one reason why. You guys have natural things that you're born with that you can instinctively do. We have to learn it. We in this, I want the day to, to talk to Mr. Jordan Peterson when he said we have more similarities and differences. No. What about us is the same? What Tell me what about man and woman is the same other than us being human. Your skin is softer. My, my skin is harder for survival. You, my, I'm, or bigger, my bone is bigger, my blood flow is more even, I think more straightforward, like a, like a, like a, like one thing at a time, um, it, the, oh my god, see this is the problem, D-Rose, there's differentiations among generalizations, it's easier to generalize women than it is men, because women have high mentality, you guys flock and do the same stuff in massive numbers, how do I know this? Because I'm a man who studies women. If you don't believe it, prove me wrong. <laughs> prove me wrong. When it comes, when it comes, men have a physical and a mental advantage. And that's what women don't want to admit. Because guess what? If if I if you if you tell a man he's his weight is not healthy or not, he might say, alright. He might boohoo and cry. Oh, well, you know what? You're probably right. I'll go eat get in the gym. If you tell a woman in general, they're going to call you out, they'll create a whole movement, body positivity, a whole movement, accept me as I am. <laughs> That's showing a mental, a lack of mental ability to take constructive criticism. Even doctors can't even, there's a lot of doctors that can't even legally tell a person their weight is dangerous now because, hmm, no. Some women, no, most women are delusional. Let's correct that. Let's be factual. Most. Uh, uh, most are, 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 so hold on. Let me go to, let me see. What the heck? Oh, I sent that twice. My bad. Okay. So I want to answer these things. Um, so talking about the polygamy thing, it, it is what it is. Um, there will always, it will always be there because there's always more, there's in most places, let me correct myself, in most places, there's more women than men. So what we're going to do, have a bunch of us all paired up and have a bunch of leftover women? No, they're going to have to share some guy at some point if they accept that. Now there's all these that don't like it and like it at the same time. They got to understand their nature. If you're the kind of woman who does not like it, stay away from it. If you're the kind who likes it, like I told you, like I said, every woman who give me permission to cheat or permission to, they want to watch me have sex. I'm like, what is wrong with you? I'm a one woman type guy, you know? But then I had to understand why they wanted to. They, they, they're attracted to what the best they can get and what the best they can get does. And I ain't gonna lie, back then, I, I probably would have gave in with the mentality. I'm like, you know, if a woman want to see me putting work, you know, I got you. <laughs> um, so look. All right, so I'm going here. Let me go here. I want to answer this. So, you are we straight on the polygamy thing, um, D Rose? It's just basically a few men are to do it because of societal, societal, not just people, uh, what they say. It's it's environmental. It, it can work, but it has to be a very minority of men because if most women are flocking to a few men, which you're unfortunately doing in this country, it creates chaos. A bunch of leftover of men, and there's a rise in testosterone. And next, you know, men, men can build, protect, or destroy. A lot of men choose to destroy, go their own way, yada yada. It's not good. The men trying to push the narrative: women should be okay with it, without, with, or, or okay with men cheating. See, this is the thing. Okay, so that's two different things. All right. You, you, we all judge. So that's the word. We all judge. I need, I need ladies to stop saying I don't judge. We all judge. 
Judgment is, you're judging my white, my white hoodie right now. Is it negative or is it positive? The word judge is not necessarily negative. It has a negative connotation on it because people make it negative. Judgment, masculinity, controlling, um, what else? Dominance, uh, manipulation, those are not negative words. Yet, because, now ladies, this is at you, because women are, have high neuroticism high in them, which is negativity, society has pandered to women's feelings, a lot of words that are neutral are turned negative. We got to get out of that if we want solutions. All right? So, yes. Judge. Ju I judge everything. I judge character. I judge positively. I judge neutrally. I judge negatively. Judge, judge, judge. I am judge, jury, and executioner. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, now, you said a uh, narrative that say that women should be okay with it. or So, it, it, it yes it, you have as a woman despite a few despite you think of all the more rights you have than men divorce courts legal systems all that stuff you you're empowered because if men and women are an even play field the men will excel it's just what it is it doesn't matter how many more years we'll be like well you guys have more years we gave you 60 60 years to catch up and you still need men to do it you can't wipe your butt without men. And then when you see black men get their stuff together, they build it fast. But then, of course, it's torn down by outside forces. I'm not going to get into that. So there's no excuse for that. Um, hmm. So you're not understanding me. Till I'm talking about the men that are trying to push that narrative and say, what kind of men are doing that then? Like you asked me. There are certain men who qualify to push that narrative and certain ones who don't. That is what it is. I understand men are hard to study and women are easier to study for me. So I get it. That Why do you think you ladies make it so extreme when it comes to men? Because they're hard to study. We're simple creatures, yet we're hard to study. You guys are complex, often complicated creatures, but you're easy for me to study. I know how to manipulate you in a good way or in a bad way or a neutral way. I know how to empower you. I know how to get you away from me. I know all that stuff. Men are harder because they're so daggone quiet. Okay, so hold on. So let me uh, go ahead. So yeah, so as far as men cheating, like I said, like Mrs. Sperling said, if you're if you're a high demand man, his woman says she listens to Kevin. She's like, you can go ahead if you want. He's like, no, I ain't gonna do that. Most probably will do it. There's a few that won't do that, you know, because. Like he was saying, uh, you putting all that work in me mess up your spinal fluid <laughs> and you get drained dealing with all those women. <laughs> That's why a woman tell me I could have more than one girl or hit. I'm like, you know, eh, I want this more than that. I one headache's enough. One headache is enough, okay? Um now let's see here. Let's go ahead. Now Mr. T, that yeah, was a setup now. So we got into the polygamy a little bit. So now I want to get into these other Make sure I'm going here. These other questions. I want to go on a tangent. In my. Hold on. Hold up. It. Yes, it's gonna be a whole lot. A bunch of opinions and, and um, videos on social media. Everybody has. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but we're not entitled to our own general facts. That's what it is. So if people say a bunch of video, okay. If you don't believe it. There's no if you if you have the answer, in, mo, in many situations, there's no point in, in debating with people who are less adequate and aware than you, unless they're willing to listen. That's what I start doing. Like I can debate with people who don't agree with me, and convince them what it is, and they'll be agreeing with me. But then, like, like listen, many women I debated, they be like, "You're right, but you ain't ish. You all you're gonna be used for is used for is your D." I'm like, "Oh, that hurt my feelings," you know. I'm going to try to get to debating with people and convince them what I'm saying. It, it, I have a whole uh, live with, I mean, I have a whole short of it. I'll send you that. They're like, you should, these women, these British women, they're like, you shut us up. <laughs> it was funny. Um, hold on. Forget, and so a homeboy told me if my man was to become successful, I should let him cheat. It depends on your relationship with your man, right? Now, 
they say it's not cheating; it's exercising options. That it's cheating if he if he's buying her stuff, you know, having a chance to giving her things that means she could possibly replace you. But if he's just getting that getting that off, it is technically cheating legally. Uh, law standard. I mean, but it's the kind of cheating that a lot a lot of women don't care about. As long as there's no diseases, no babies, no embarrassments, you're good. Um, now, there are a, a minority of women that care about that, right? And you are one of those. So your homeboy, he doesn't know your situation. He's incorrect as far as you guys' relationship. If you're not for if you're not what's going to withstand it, if you don't want, if you don't want your, if you're, you're against that biology and fight that, then you shouldn't have to endure that. Um, yeah, he, he, he can, he can tell you whatever he wants to tell you. People can tell you whatever they want. It's your choice to listen to or take it in or not. People can say whatever they want to. They're a person saying something. Because look, half the haters of men like me, who are they to critique me? Do they have a critiquing degree? No. <laughs> so they're like, who are you to say this? Who are they to question me? So when it comes to your situation, he can say what he wants, but you don't got to take it in. You know, if he keeps on doing that, I recommend, uh, I don't know if that should be a good friend. You state your opinion just like, just don't push into other people. Like, hmm. People can try to push. They're going to, people are going to do what they want to do. It's just how, it's how you handle it. It's how you, it's how you manage your, your feelings towards their, their apparent dominance. That's why I've gotten so good at checking people over the years because people constantly try to push stuff on me. And I question it. I challenge it. I challenge what they, if they know what they're trying to push. And oftentimes they don't. That's why 99.5% of the time you see me debating with somebody, I'm going to win. Because they don't know what they're talking about. I, my opinions are based off of logic that are based off of facts. That's why so many people think I'm a robot. <laughs> and I'm open to being wrong. You wouldn't believe it. They're like, oh my God, whenever... I'm wrong. I'm like, oh, God, Keen is, he said he's wrong? They have a heart attack. I'm like, yes, I'm wrong. You proved me wrong. Let's get to the facts. Like, there's me, there's you, and then there's the truth. What's the truth? Because it can't be argued with. So I'm going to answer your, your, some of your things here. So I'm skipping. We already did the polygamy a little bit. I want to talk about that more. It's illegal anyways. Uh-huh. All right. Hold on. Okay, so... Uh-huh, uh-huh. I get banned today. It's still going to be emotional involved. So, uh, it's woman, is, it, is it wrong for women to try to push equality and independence? For one, we're all interdependent on the government. There are few people who are truly independent. If you're paying tax on a house, you're on a farm, whatever, you're paying... The government makes sure it owns its land. I respect the government. I just want to respect people again because it, the government looks at us as like a bunch of little kids who don't know what we're doing. Because a lot of us are like that, unfortunately. So they got to baby us and tell us what to do and they, they can take advantage of us. But once if we if we unite and get our brains together, then of course we can be checking the government. They can be checking us. It can be an equal balance of power. Um... But um, so so we're we're not equal. Nobody is equal. We're all different, and generally, men and women's e equal. Uh, men and women are generally different. That why do you think women have to have more rights than men to, and why do they get all this empowerment to try to be like men, and men can just work and good and get there because they're not like us. They're not equal, and that's okay. We are meant to be the they're those meant to be the weak vessel for a reason, but of. That makes one feel inadequate, and a creature that's feeling inadequate when it believes most of the opposite sex are bad, it's confused, it's it's angry, it doesn't know what to do, right? Because just because that's, that's how women stop being extreme, fight it. Men stop thinking when you're Johnson, women stop being extreme. Because guess what? Because since there's bad men out here, women move like it's all or most bad men. And then they're like, oh, my God, they're moving scared, they're depressed, on the antidepressants, they don't know what to do. It doesn't make any sense. So, hmm. oh, yeah, um, yeah, it's, it's wrong. It's, hmm. it's just, to me, it's kind of, it's just weird.
So let me go here. What does woman... What the woman who just wants financial security? Most women want some sense of security, and um, so I'm I'm gonna go into something. This is this is something I I uh I wrote because when I'm when I'm um when I'm typing stuff, my brain moves super fast, and I can do things that I can't say, which is kind of unique. It's weird. Let me see here. Ig. Um. No. Let me go to here. I'm going to read you something that I created within five minutes. I remember I made a poem on Facebook. It was so dope that Facebook stole the next day. Got a bunch of love. And it just was gone. There was no report, no nothing. They took it. They took it from me. I'm like, yo, I should have patented. That's why all my poems, now I keep it to myself. I talked to a professional poet about how to patent stuff. And, you know, because you ain't going to be taking my poetry. They got a bunch of chicks away. Like, man, that was mine. Um... Hold on, let me mute this. I gotta go to my photos real quick. I'm gonna read you something. And I think someone's gonna probably try to steal this, but no one has yet. So this is something I have made. It's on here. Come on, I'm gonna upload, Jesus. Um, how do you? Let's see if I can find this thing. Okay, 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 there we go. I think I'll have a picture of me and her. Oh, damn. Let me block her. She kicked me out. Um, where's the set? Where's the set? That's my bitch. While I'm doing this, um, it's keen. Venom is no more. I must get rid of that. You miss me. I am the keen. I am the cerebral inquirer. Self-proclaimed smart as hell, so people can think I'm either smart as hell or they think I'm dumb. And so they're thinking I'm dumb, I get to put the wool over them. <laughs> and I'm keen, I'm more aware. I'm I'm sensible and sensitive, yet I am about facts over feelings, logic over emotions, truth over lies. That's what I am. So I am the keen barracuda. Keen barracuda. I'm no longer a dangerous, reckless barracuda who just attacks, attacks, and never lets up. I know, I know, ladies, ladies think it's, they like that toxic, they like, they like, they like that strength, it's six, it's sexy, I'm like, no. Anyways, so where is D-Rose? I want, I want you guys to hear this, where is D-Rose? Alright, there you are. So this, this is my, this is my perspective on someone, you hear this. Alright, top, my perspective, top tier, I shouldn't put the word strong with woman, but top tier, I'll put top tier most desired woman. They're easygoing and easy to get along with, very patient, nurturing, humble, accountable, and wise, not difficult, not insufferable, or intolerable, or argumentative. They've mastered their emotions and self-awareness. They embrace their femininity, cooperation, submission, and friendliness. They mainly don't argue with men unless absolutely necessary. Um, <clears throat> they listen to understand with good faith, not assume negatively. They listen and determine if a man's leadership is worth is wise enough for him to be the leader or if he's a man to walk away from. These women embrace their nature and have a plan in life. They are thorough and swooped up in mass by eligible thorough men. Quickly. These women are becoming more rare. Many believe being believe strong is being difficult when that increases the chances of going through life alone. When they they are very social creatures, and they were meant to, did I make this bigger? They were meant to what the? Why isn't this? See, it messed my flow. They were meant to. Yo, I know daggone well. Anyways, I know they're meant to be social creatures, and um. Like, I think I uploaded that. Either way it goes. But I'll do my top tier strong men now, right? Top tier strong men, a direct, stern, strong-willed, yet open-minded man with a strong sense of direction. A masculine, disciplined man who can approach, who can appropriately express his emotions while remaining logical to not stray away from his path in life. He's self-aware, not, not an abusive, negative being. A selfless man who has 
develop the tools to be a wise leader to make decisions soundly when granted control. A man who is entrusted in providing structure, protection, direction, and, a fi- and financial stability. A dangerous man who can protect his territory, but knows how to harness and discipline his abilities. Listens to respond, understand, and not react. An accountable man who understands the requirements of the mate he chooses. A man who earns respect from his presence and words and from his discernment. A man, a wise man open to counsel. Many strong men are becoming more rare. Many strong men are going their own way. Masculinity is being sabotaged and considered toxic due to others' bad experiences with other men they were told to avoid. Then many want a man until he starts acting like one. And and those men can go through life alone, but women need them for status and provision plus their social creatures. All right. So that was a little something. With that there, it shows that men and women are, are, you know, I get what you're saying, not equal, but they're not because women want the best that they can get. Men generally want the most they can get. The best too, but we have an abundance mindset. The Bible, in different material, teaches men to fight their carnal desires, to fight things that can distract us. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, it taught women too, but unfortunately, women have been taught to embrace their carnal desires and not resist it. They women have gained a lot of power and they can't let it go. Because power is the very thing that destroys the best of men. That's why we put checks on it. But could you imagine giving women... They have to because it's a, it's a feminist talking point. They got it. They want to call it toxic because women want control. Women believe they want majority control, but once they get it, they don't want it. They don't look towards the future in massive numbers. They don't. They look for here and now because think of it. Your attraction, your presence is here and now. You are beautiful right here and now. As you get older, you lose more attraction in the sexual dating market. Why do you think it's offensive to ask a woman her age? Uh-oh. My brain, he's seen my brain. Why do you think it's offensive to ask a woman her age? Because she knows more than likely her opportunity, men have, are running out. And that's nature. Since Adam and Eve sinned, Eve was the first unaccountable woman. Adam was the first sin. Let's be honest. Um, be, was, is what it is. He could have, like, yo, my guy would have made another woman. But he's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead with it. You know, like, come on, Adam, bro. Come on. Now we all messed up. I want to be on power in paradise, wrestling with lions and, you know, and, and swim with actual barracudas. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to do that. But now, look, look at the word I'm in now. Anyways, I said what I said. Hey. They lived longer than us back then. I got to grow and die. I might, I'm hopeful. Hopefully, I'll live to 80. Be healthy. Shoot. Yeah, we had them. Then there's some, some people talking about some Lilith. They don't make no sense to me. I, why would, I don't, never, you know what? Anyways. So, yeah. Uh, so, I'm going to your thing. Yeah, I've been studying humans most of my life. Because I thought, you know, if you improve all the women, even the ain't-ish men have to improve to mate or practice, practice mating. I've been doing that for most of my life, telling women to avoid um, certain men. Though I'm not ready, to avoid him. Go, you know, try to save them from that, but they don't listen because they, they women. A lot of women try to convince themselves something that that's wrong is right. It's not logical. If you know this is wrong, why are you trying to? I I could change it. What? Your a woman's intuition is barely ever wrong. Why are you going against your intuition? Because it feels good. I don't know how to resist my carnal desires. Oh my god. He makes you he makes you so well. Okay, alright, go ahead. Oh my god, I couldn't change him. No, no dog. You wanna take me now, Keen? No. No, you mentally ran out of the room. Your mind's warped. You're gonna penetrate mentally and physically. You try to be like a man. No, no, thank you. Women do not want men to bring their trauma. Right? So why should we want you to bring your trauma? Why? Because we're fixers? We're already dying early. No. we. How can we fix something that don't listen? 
How he fakes the creature and tries to tell us how to be us when they're not the leaders? <laughs> You're a man, you need to be doing this and that. Well, get you a man who does that and that. Why you can't why you can't find them? Because and it's trying to compare you to, well, I've never encountered this from the last man. Well, I'm, I'm glad to know that I'm your second best option. You couldn't qualify for him. Why was that? If he was so good. And then avoid accountability because accountability shows woman imperfection. Women in general chase perfection like a puppy chasing his tail. You're never going to catch it. They chase because they don't like reality. Why do you think when it comes to watching like nature stuff, you see all the women in comments? Oh my God. I don't like nature. I don't like that. It's reality. They listen to their heart and not their heads. Yeah, they, if their heart was in a better place, they'd be fine too. In 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 their heads, all over the place. I'm glad I'm not. Listen, I like to think straightforward. Listen, woman I dated right. I realized that women can multitask better than men from personal experience and from research. So guess what? I've been trying to multitask my whole life until 2020. I was always jealous. Well, you know what? I'm going to do one thing at a time. My life changed drastically. So I dealt with women. I'm like, all right, you can multitask. I put them to work. And they be turned on work for me. I'm like, yeah, look at that. And then I, I try to get them right because I'd be a little jealous. I'm like, look, I might do this one thing at one time. They're like, no, nah, I got like, nah, do one thing at one time. And she'd be frustrated. I'm like, yeah, my biology says I can do one thing at one time and get it done, baby. Yeah, what's up? What's up? <laughs> what's up? They'd be so mad. <laughs> but you know, the thing is, is and the, oh, hold on. This other woman gave me ammunition against women. She said, she said women can multitask better, but they don't get a lot of things done. You know what? I believed it. I don't even, re- I believe it. I'm like, yep, I get stuff done and you multitask and do multiple things and you ain't get it done. Solution oriented, baby. Men for the win. Men for the win. <laughs> But no, uh, but it, it's uh, that's why some of the happiest women on this planet are serving their men. They live like that woman who was um, what's what's good, man? Well, like that woman um, who uh, who was um, basically uh, complaining about man, whatever. And then she got what's his name, that football player. And she was talking about sex. After. She's like she lives to her man. She she totally switched. Well, that's because D. Rose, that's because you got some masculinity. That's why you can't ma- multitask. <laughs> no, I'm playing with you. <laughs> but I mean, it's not necessarily a masculine or feminine trait. It's just that one gender typically possesses it more than the other. There are certain things each gender possess. The people don't, don't need to not get this completed. There are certain things that each gender possesses more of. Does not make it necessarily masculine or feminine trait. Like a woman's built to multitask. If a man is can multitask, that does not make him feminine. That just makes him be able, be able to multitask. If a woman can think straightforwardly, that doesn't make her masculine. That means she can think straightforwardly. It is what it is. There's just certain general things that apply to each gender in, in certain numbers. So, um, majority. It is what it is. I'm doing good, uh, Farhan. Um, so basically, let me get back to this because it's live probably end around 1.30. So, because it's an hour. Um, so, hmm, hmm, studying humans, yeah, my entire life. Okay, boy, God. Sex. <laughs> now, we say sex, I mean, we don't say no daggone sex, d we say sex. It's a, one of the most beautiful interactions between a man and a woman. That vulnerability, right? Now, and I go over the top so women will want it more. I'll be the extra vulnerable when she's down there. I'll be like, oh, you got me. My toe is curling. And she'll want it more because I'm a big, strong, tough man. And then then when we get there, I'll be a little vulnerable. Hey, man, I'll give you a secret. Men, be extra vulnerable during sex. The, the woman will want it more. Be tough all the time. And then you're vulnerable. She's going to think she did something. <laughs> she going to think she did something. <laughs> Master manipulation, I am. Um, let's see. Okay. Oh, this one I want to get exactly. You just wrote monkey see, monkey do. Now, see, yes, men are to create instructions. Yeah, that's true. But see, all that bonding energy, that's that's woman talk. I'll be honest with you. Listen. 
Yes, both share body and energy, but listen, when it comes to women, you have all that sexual, oh my God, spirits and all that stuff when you have sex. That's that's just this excuse or reason saying, hey, well, sex affects us differently. When it comes to men, I could bend you over. Okay, get out of here. Good time. We're different. And women need to understand that. Women know this. They just don't want to, they want to be the same. A lot of them want to be the same. And it's like, you know, like, yeah, I can, I done ran through a lot of them. <laughs> I feel bad because I'm like, yo, when you hit me up, you haven't found a man like me or better. I'm like, yo, I messed up. <laughs> I see all these status with women sleep with the same man. I'm like, yo, I'm only five nine. <laughs> I'm like, why that? Why me? Because when I look like I got the jawline. My nickname is Crimson Chin, but you see my big ass, my big chin. You know I can fight. You know I can defend. Take territory. I got the muscles. I got the uh, pendant. Uh, uh, you know, thingy. I got. I got a lot of things going for me. I got intellect. So a lot of things are gonna go for me and attract women. You know, I, I got. I attract all kinds of women. You got. I got to vet them differently, huh? Quantum physics already proved that intertwining energy. Listen, that's see that's something. <laughs> D Rose, listen, I'm trying to tell you right now, I am a man. Yes, we're inter- the, okay, let's so we'll say that exists, right? The energy level is different. That quantum, that intertwining affects you more than it does me. Let's just agree on that, all right? Hiring. <laughs> Sex is sacred for the Listen, D Rose, I ran through. Triple digits. I have no, I mean, excuse me, no trauma, no diseases, no babies. Can you, the woman who done stuff like that, they are messed up. Sure, it affects most people, let's say most people, but the woman is going to affect way more. Let's agree on that. The men, they can be all right with it. It can affect a lot of men too, especially a lot of us since a lot of us are feminized, but in general, men can handle it better. Let's just agree on that. Oh, God, this energy stuff. See, y'all love... Oh, y'all, you probably got the chakras and the crystal. The crystal low vibration, high vibration, don't you? <laughs> but hold on. That that drama could be a high vibration. That that solution could be a high vibration. Let's break it down. <laughs> Look. You distracted me from your, from your questions. Hold on. We only got like 15 minutes, I think. So hold on. Uh, Woman, I like F that. It's time we do whatever we want to do. If women do whatever they want to, a woman without proper instruction is headed for destruction. See, women universally, they're as they're as loyal as the laws are of the land. There's laws put in place to correct women's behavior because they know if a woman does whatever she wants, not always, but often it's destruction. Like, take for example our country. 21 million abortions in the black community. 21 million abortions since the 1970s. Um, reproducing with about the 70% of the out of wedlock kids are reproduced by 10% of black men. Right? Yeah, I know, right? That's crazy. 1.2 million out of wedlock with white, Hispanic, primarily Hispanic, and, and Asian other men, right? The breeding direction is not sound. So, and but most black men, fifty-seven point two five, don't have kids. Forty, uh, forty-two point seventy-five have kids, and thirty point six of those make it for thirty-three percent of kids. So at least like ten or twelve percent out of wedlock kids. Yeah, yeah. So that shows when women don't have any destru- instruction, they're headed for destruction. And unfortunately, a lot of men have been taught call them strong, independent. Which the women say they want it. Men, men, we don't like to conform generally, but we will to practice manning or mate. So men say, okay, call you strong and independent. Now I'm like, don't call me that. Men are giving you what you want in general. They're like, you know what? Screw this, it's difficult. That's why we are the set the tone. We're the lead. I've been speaking up for over a decade. I added points. To, I, it's hard to figure out what I've learned different stuff because I have so much stuff. People are like, like yo, how old are you? I'm like yo, I'm 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 20, I'm 18, I'm 90. Like yo, who touches? I've always it doesn't prove what. Yes, well I don't know what you talking about, Jenny. I, Jenny, you can cam up for what? Cam up, Jenny, cam up. 
Jenny from the block. Um, I've always associated with older men, older women. That's why I have all the knowledge I have and the way my brain works. I can be different. When you, Yes, I do hold myself accountable with the roles. I said them all the time. That's why I'm in these spaces. I joke about it to not feel bad, but I do feel bad. If, you know, I was on Mr. Sperling's podcast. I sent you the video. He was like, the Jamaican man is repentant because I think of, and look, you're so, as a, as a rule, as a man, you're supposed to give 50%. I give 80 because it feel good. And so when you, you're conquering, I look at the bedroom as that's a battleground I'm about to conquer. And I don't care how many times you orgasm, I finish when I want to finish. If you make me finish early, oh, you're going to get punished. The second round going to be hell. You ain't going to hurt my problem. I'm a man. <laughs> Let me stop. But look, so I hold myself accountable. I do all the time, D. Rose. Like I said, I'm always on the public platform saying, yo, I regret it. And they're like, bro, don't hold you. These women, uh, Dennis Brown said all that loose ass. He's like, it, Samson couldn't resist. <laughs> Adam could resist. You are just a man, a boy in the wilderness, boy. There's no way you can resist. <laughs> but I have turned down some. It's hard, but I've turned down some. Yes, Jenny, I conquer that. You, it's a man's job to conquer that. You got to make her nut. You got to conquer that. She's not going to respect you. You got to conquer that. That's the bedroom. You got to conquer in the bedroom every time. And you know if you don't do a good job, these girls go on the streets telling the girl, oh, he, he's terrible, he sucks. Man, I got girls, streets saying, I'll conquer, but they'll say, he ain't ish, he ain't gonna ever get married, he always will be, oh, I'm like, that does, because they can tell, it's hard for me, because I'm in the hood, a lot of retired hoes try to retire with me. I'm like, nah, treat me just like that hood dude over there. I'm like, nah, you're proper, you're different. I'm like, I'm still, I, listen, I ain't come to you. We can either watch this movie, because I like movies, pay $2 for this movie to watch it, or we can have some fun. What you want to do? What do you do if you don't? What What do you mean? What do I do if I don't? Do you apologize and try again? What do you... I, I Maybe the, the messages are coming in late, but let me see. I wanted to get to all these before... Women lose their feminine ways. Ugh. Put dudes out and put it down. I know that much. I'm not hood and I put it down. Hell, I've been told I put it down better than some hood dudes. See, that's stereotype. Because <laughs> they, they got nowhere to go. They got to they gotta, they gotta give it the best they got. <laughs> I mean, so really, there's different kinds of hood dudes. There's the ones looking for they have a father figure who are trying to exhibit masculinity, so they join groups. There's the ones who are masculine, the OGs. There's different kinds. There's the ones that retire. See, men can afford to F up more than women. We can afford to be hood and then change because we could change. Women is hard to change. We can't afford to do that because, hmm. I mean, see, that's because there's there's a minority of hood dudes. Let's be honest. Women are asleep with them. They're reproducing with most of them. And then they blame all men. When you listen, if most women don't know how to resist their carnal desires and they're chasing the same men, right? That means these same men in these areas, these men got options. Hood dudes got options. They're not gonna be faithful to you. These women be like in the movies, let me let them get a faithful hood dude. I got to uh debating with this uh Brazilian chick talking about something in the movie, in the movie. Listen, movies are there are certain realities in movies, but a lot of them are fiction. You have to differentiate. Just because you see in the movie, does not mean it's not true. For example, movies saying black men abandon kids. We are the most present father in the United States of America. We're the most involved in the kids' lives. Most of us ain't got kids. You can't blame me for these women sleep with the same men. How do how do eighty about, I can't remember, how do 70% of y'all are able to sleep with 10% of men? There's black men with 70 kids, 30 kids. I blame the woman. You didn't, listen, you ain't, that man ain't require a ring for me. Why are you giving him a baby? You could, you could die in the deathbed. You, why are you giving him a baby? He can get an STD. Why are you giving him a baby? 
He might not be financially sound. Why are you giving a man a baby? You don't even know his last name. I don't get no coach paying parent parent punk on here. Get him out of here. He can't help nothing. He can't help me nothing. His flip flop and tail. See, men like him are the problem. I don't like I don't like men who don't hold women accountable. You're not a leader. If you if you really truly love women, you counsel them and tell them when they're wrong so they can do better. You do not kiss their ass. You are a part of the problem. Men like you have made our community go to the ground, give them, telling these women what they want to hear. Be a leader. You know the truth. Tell them the truth. If you don't, if you don't know it quite well, find men who know better and learn from them. That's what I do. Who the hell is trying to cam up? Oh hell no! You're not. Hell no. Get the hell out of here, man. So, anyways, um, alcohol. That's <laughs> listen. I I understand that alcohol things that see women get drunk faster, Jenny. But at the same time, we're still... Well, it depends on how drunk you are. Because, I mean, I don't like to get personal, but I, um... I, um... You have been aware when I'm drunk, except for two times, you know? Um, hell, there was this woman who had a... Who had a, who had a uh, nice body, her face is whatever... She just got some habit. She's like, she. I was seventeen. She came. She's like, she's like naked. She's like, can I help you? I'm like, no. It. Was, I was drunk, and I still said no. <laughs> well, Jenny, that's a personal problem. You gotta. I mean, I think that's most. In my opinion, which it could be wrong, I think that's most humans. But coach, man, you're punk. Your fighting style is weak. You need to take that fighting that you need to take that take that bag video down. You you it's trash. You out of shape. You I mean you are weak ass dude, bro. Come on now. You do you you smoking weed all the time yet you giving you giving coaching advice? Relation, you you pay for followers. Your followers 11,000, 9,000 to what? You pay for wall followers so you can try to compete with men of integrity. You have no you have no backbone, bro. So it, oh, it has to do. With, it has to do with what you're talking about. You're in my comments talking junk. No, you're not allowed up here. You already, you already proved who you are, and I checked you on here. That's never going away. Will try to talk to you. You, you acted up then too. You didn't keep your frame. You got emotionally negative. You were not emotionally calm. Now you're in my comment section. You're not. You're not. You're not sound. People who follow me because I have integrity. I don't, I don't have to pay for followers, bro. I don't got a bunch of bots following me. I said what I said. Now, back to uh, D-Rose. My bad, D-Rose. Oh, crap. She's gone. What's up, um, AFI? Yo, yo, you got to be on Dennis Brown's live, bro. <laughs> You got to be on there, bro. I got to get more familiar with... Uh, yeah, God bless you, too. I got to be get familiar with you, uh, International FI, because you cool as hell, bro. You, you're making big moves, man, and I have yet to learn things about traveling and stuff. I'm afraid, though, because, look, man, last time I went I, I went to a club in, in Charlotte, North Carolina, chick, this bad Latina spilled a, spilled a drink on me just to kiss me. I look at the bodyguards like, yo, you going to help me? They just look like, yo, you good? And I would have went home with her ass that night, but daggone, her best friend go save her from me. I'm like, yo! I'm like, I'll get the number first. Let me stop. I'm getting distracted with my personal stories. Um, D Rose is gone. But let me show. Let me see here. Good Lord. See, this is. See, ladies, you guys ask a lot of questions at once and expect us to answer them all. But you don't want us to do that in return. I don't need you to start practicing what you preach. Just because a man is solution orientated does not mean, oh, you're a man, you can't handle it all. You can't handle it all either. All right? <laughs> Stop it. All right, bro. You too, bro. One, lo one love, Farhan. One love. Women are shut down every minute when they take a chance to speak. It depends on what she's speaking. A lot of most women talk in circles. It's annoying. Let's be honest. You guys can't stand each other when you do it. But we got to take it? No. <laughs> we don't shouldn't have to take that. We are solution oriented. We'll listen to you, but we we'll have to, when you once you're going in a circle, just talk on your thoughts. We got to cut you off. It is we got to get to the point because unless you my woman, 
or you paying for my time, I'm not here to hear all your thoughts in your head. Unless they're making sense off of facts. General facts. And too many women go off of personal facts instead of general facts. So they'll be always be arguing with men because it's a man's responsibility to go off of general facts. We don't have the luxury to go off of personal and fantasize. If we do, eventually, quickly, it catches up with us. Woman, it tends to catch up with later in life. So when she runs out of the options, like, oh, oh, I want to change. It's too late now. So if a woman wants marriage, she should prioritize that between 18 and 25. It is what it is. If a man wants marriage, it used to be younger, but now it's like between 35 and 45 prioritize that. I'm 30. I got time. People trying, you know, I, if, if, the, if the right one come along, like the last one she thought she was, I'll get married. But I guess I still haven't been out of the country yet. I got chicks. Well, no, I don't. I'm, I'm not a hoe. I got associates in Brazil, Thailand, Australia. Got, yo, if I go to Australia and don't come back, no, a camel spider got me. Because I was talking to a soldier. Those things hop on legs, okay? I don't like spiders. I'm Look, I'm Ant-Man. I used to have ant kingdoms and run the whole yard with my ants. I would invade and conquer. Yes, I, I would get the little queens and put them in. And I would try to breed them, but I think they died off. I would conquer. But some spiders, I don't like them. Too many legs to crawl on you. Too many eyes to see you. And they can bite you. Well, those, those, well, well, Jenny, you got to look at results, Jenny. You see, Jenny, you got to research other women who've done that and their success rate. Now, there are people who know what they want at a young age. It, it may not be the majority, but women should know what they want. They're, if the mothers were training women to be wives, it's the reason why it's different other countries, they train them to do that. So the woman can survive and have a better chance in life. Because in this world, it's not built for women being single. You have to give men what they want in general. If you don't, you're going to end up with a man you don't admire. That's just what it is. And if you made a mistake of having kids with a man you didn't admire, humble up. Be feminine. Find you a man who has kids as well and blend families. That's your best bet. Leave the single men alone because it can be harder a lot harder because a lot of single men are walking away. Just think, do you want your sons to have a chance with a single mother or do they want them to have their own seed? Just think about that because most men want their own seed. There's no attack on single mothers just as being honest. And no, it might hurt feelings, but this is reality. So I tell, hey, if a woman with kids find another man. Hmm, that's a good deal. Find it. All right. One, two, three, four. All right. Bye. Bye, Fran. Um, so find a man with kids. Blend the families. Let single people have their own chance to F up or do it together. Let them learn together. It's beautiful. Men, we love to teach. We love, If a woman ain't got no kids, hey, we can have it together. I'm, I'm, you know, this is my first time she rode in this kind of car. Or my first time, she, her first time this and that. Or a woman can pretend. Because a man, we want to be accomplished. We want to be giving you something. Women are receivers, men are givers. That's what it is. That's a, since the beginning of time. I have a woman have a larger peripheral, focus on the inside, right? Focus on the inside. Men have a narrow vision, focus on the outside. While I'm taking out that predator, that predator, that predator, you're watching my back, repair my wounds. When I go to town, you hold on the house. I go to town. I'm, I'm, I'm getting provision. I'm getting my, my reputation is amplified amongst people. You're home waiting for me to hold down the house. I come back. You're turned on because I am respected by the community, and you breed with me. And you, you, you give me multiple babies. You like that dominance. You like my leadership. Because if I let you lead, you're like, oh, you're not man enough, huh? I'm a cheat. Hell no. I'm set the tone. Set the tone. See, the issue with me, though, is I'm so nice that a lot of these masculine women or confused women will think I'm a, I'm a fem feminine man or a push her. like, oh, oh, hold on, lady. When I get to tell, like, listen, I'm nice, but you better respect my 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 my, I don't, my OG. Gangsters are followers, so I say I'm an OG. And thugs, they do, uh-uh. You respect it. They get confused 
And many of the women who are intelligent I've encountered and talked to, they try to compete with me. I'm like, I don't want to compete with you because often you guys are so losers. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm like, don't compete with me. It's a turn off. No. They'll try to one up me or be per- like, oh, you think you're perfect. You're so intelligent. I'm going to be the same. I'm like, just chill, lady. And I also run to women like, like they tell me I know more about themselves than them. Yeah, that, that's true. I, I embrace. They tell me, you know more about myself than me. You're like a big brother. You're telling me, you're giving me the tools to replace. I'm like, listen, you can replace me. You can try. <laughs> if you leave me for a bad reason, I'll be the best you ever got. I keep on saying it. Look what's happening out here. Women leaving men for dumb reasons. He can't ice skate. Everything he can ice skate. He got a bunch of women in his inbox. Now she's out here. Men know that's a red flag. Uh-oh. Now she got a date guy she don't admire. Down, 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 down. <laughs> they use ninjas doing as they please for some. <laughs> that's right. And so the thing is, women have an infinite mindset right now because of minority men lie to them. And a lot of them know it's not true, but they still keep on, a lot of them still keep on going with it. It's like, you know this isn't going to work out, right? Try asking a woman to go on a date, asking her, Angie, what's your plan for the future? Watch her get upset. I've asked so many, i probably asked hundreds of women, what's the plan for the future? They get upset. And then once they just start talking about sex, just bend them over. <laughs> bro, bro, 2017, yo, POF. Not POF, tag, they know me. <laughs> Some girls get so mad, right? Because, like, one be like, we know, I know you're all here thought, aren't you, King Betty Quinn? I'm like, I just might be. Mind your business. Let me turn my location off. They're like, um. They'll be like, um. <laughs> what, bro? What you say? I embrace you. Want to come up, bro? Do you ever join lives or you just be in the comments? You, you, you are a very logical dude. You're funny as hell. Mm. And I'm surprised it gave me it's been past the hour. Usually it's out live, but I mean, I'm, I got more followers. I got like two, three thousand, like two, three months. It's crazy. It was because of Passport Bros and um, Mr. Tate. But I went into a bunch of subjects, see. Um, don't want to go on tangents. Uh, infant mindset. <laughs> you know what's funny about that? All the female dating coaches and professionals I listen to, they swallow their pride and say, man, you have to treat us like children. I'm like, what? Because you look at it, the accountability factor. I'm like, oh. Cause it's like it's like you you blame men for everything. What can you do by yourself? What are you accountable for? And I'm willing to you know, enough to go most. Yeah, just let me know if you want to join this one before ends. It'll be nice nice to hear your perspective, brothers. If not, uh, all due respect. You know, because this one probably ends soon. So, um, I'm gonna download it and then put it on YouTube. It's funny. I got a bunch of uh, videos for, ready for YouTube. Once I start going live, I'll thrive. You know, because um, apparently I've had content creators want me to speak. I hope he said a whole college wanted me to speak and everything. It's just because um, the words I say is um, I have a little a abstract, a different view of what kind of things I go off of nature and I go off of things we can't argue with. That's why I win most of my debates. It is about winning if you're about the truth. When people say arguments and debates and I've been winning, what's the point you're arguing or debating for? Yes, it's about winning. If you're trying to get to the truth. It's about the truth, actually. If you're trying to get to the truth, you're winning, yes. If you lose and because you're not telling the truth, accept it. If I I lost to a chick one time, and I'm not gonna lie, this was years ago. It was in comments, and we were debating. I actually shamed. She didn't shame at all. She was correct. Brother, let me tell you, I paid her so much homage. I'm like, screenshot this. Say that women need to see that they can be right and, and, and correct a man and a man accept it. But don't take it to the head, though, because I know they, they, they're extreme and take it to the head. And she, she was smiling. I know. Look, I know I got her way. <laughs> but she was right, though. And there are 
Very few women that I've been debated that have, have bested me, and I like them. It turns me on. I'm like, hold on, you better stay away from me. Hold on. Your intellect is turning me Get away from me now. <laughs> like, there was, um, re retired, mm. uh, a certain lady, very, very shrewd, she, 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 mm. she'd be owning me. <laughs> she'd be, I'll be like, yo. I even used her own arguments. Like, uh, for example, she we had an argument that, that the word, the black, is just as bad as the M word and the, with A. I'm like, no, it ain't. And she's like, uh, yeah, it is, because something. And then I'm like, because she said, because uh, deprived of light, dark, whatever. I'm like, yeah, you're right, you're right. I got to argue with someone, some artist, he's an artist on social media, and he, we were debating back and forth, respectful, and I was using her talking points. He said one thing that shut me up. He said, I like to call myself black because anything can come from it. I'm like, ooh, I'm like, ooh, you smart. I said, ooh, I can't argue with that. I can't argue with that. I can't argue with it. And he, he didn't get glow or nothing like that. He was like, yeah. He's like, yeah. I took it back to her and she dis she dismantled it. <laughs> she said, yeah, but at the same time, she's such a genius. Man, I can't wait. To, mm. Is she ever? Mm. She dismantled it. But either way it goes, I go with what he said because black can come from anything. Because I like to just say melanin, but we all got some form of melanin in us, right? But just we're more concentrated. So I could say melanated, brown. Let's say brown, melanated, dark brown, whatever. I am a Jamaican black Native American man. Jamaican black Cherokee Native American man. That's what I am. Let me end this. This has been long. D Rose, you left. Rubina. You you come up, Rubina. You need to call me that POS. What do you mean by soon enough though, bro? Oh no. Well hold on. You don't have to do something. I don't know what I'm saying. Man. Mm. Do I look, look like a POS right now? <laughs> no, no, not yet. Yeah, just get a little drunk. drunk. Don't look like it. Well, that's a good thing. Oh well, hold on, hold on, don't, don't, because I'm, I'm saving this. Don't, you know, don't say that's for the kid. Cause I don't want, you know, people's per, kids' personal life out there because I'm saving this, you know. And I don't know how to edit. It, so. What's good? I came to my sister's house to say hello. Hang out with the kids. Shit. What are you drinking now? Wine. What kind? Chardonnay. Hmm, I don't know. I have yet to learn. I remember a woman introduced me to my first my uh Moscato. She took advantage of me, but it was worth it. I complied. Woo, that was good. Moscato. I love Moscato. Listen. Don't look, look, I'm tired of you women thinking I'm a pushover just because I have a, a cute face and I look like I don't fight. I am not no soft. Listen, see this muscle. See this. It got a little smaller because I stopped lifting weights, but I am not no soft. Huh? You got no muscle. Stop lying to these people. Who's, who was Henry G. Larry? I don't know who that is. But yeah. Um, so. But yeah, I'm just giving here, giving advice, you know, and I'm open to being wrong if a person can prove it. I am the cerebral inquirer, keen medical. You know what I'm saying? That's what I am. I'm not venom. POS venom. I'm not the barracuda who is who is strong and just he can be a little reckless. I am keen. I am aware of my surroundings. I am sensitive, sensitive and sensible, but also I can be stern when it comes to even facts. Facts over. Feelings, truth over lies, logical over emotions. Let's get it, babe. That's all day. That's what I do. That's what I do. So you trying to get the life. passport? You, wait, where are you trying to go to? Because I've been seeing all these posts about you getting the passport and all that stuff. So uh, my hands is on the way. I'm I'm probably gonna go to Brazil and then um hopefully I don't get kidnapped. Um, because you ladies are aggressive everywhere. Yeah, you look. Y'all ladies aggressive everywhere. I learned that. <coughs> I'm tired of women spilling drinks on me to flirt with me. That's how I lost my virginity. What is wrong with y'all? You think I want to spill a drink on my outfit? 
I can see you. Nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Can you add Rubina? Rubina. Rubina. Keep Jamie Foxx. Rubina. Can you tell me, why do women spill drinks on men to flirt with them? I don't know. I've never done that. What? <clears throat> well, I, maybe I'm like savage. I don't like that. It's weird. Like, Who did like, that to you? Like, maybe it's like a coincidence. It happened once. Man, it was it was how I lost my, my V card. And then it was like... Uh, more of that, Ooh. baby, your, your coffee. <laughs> well, I don't know what you're talking about. But I just, some of that's the accent my, does something to me. I ain't going to simp. Lady, that's my line. I ain't going to simp. But that accent do something to me, though. Mm. Let me my arm. See, this, this help gives me energy. This gives me the energy to fight temptation. It gives me the strength to fight the temptation of your woman. Armor. Oh, they are protected by the Lord and Savior. Body armor, baby. What? What if? What if you know? What if they uh, they just doing what they doing? They being themselves, and you were the one that's actually thinking different. Say what? What? What you say? What if they're not? What if they're not trying to tempt, attempt you or make you feel some type where you're the one that's actually cannot really control yourself? It takes two to tango. Now. I I, listen, I'm a man, and, and I do fit into biology. I'm not going to refuse that much. I will say, no, if I know you're a really great woman and you're having a real promiscuous moment, if I, if I think I can build and go, you can have the time, I'll entertain it, be something real. Otherwise, I'm like, hey, hey, hey. listen, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm very good at what I do. I'm like, uh, you might want to stay away from me. But there's some that, you know, like, you know, we can have fun. As long as she can handle it. But one thing I learned is that a good woman will cut, cut you off to stay out of her feelings if it's not going anywhere. And I respect that. Because I remember when I stopped being out there and certain women were telling me you, they can only see me once a month to stay out of their feelings. Like, what? Once a month? How am I get on get some there at least once a week? That's my requirement. Once a week. That's all I need. Because people are, people are busy. No, it's no. They literally told me to. St she's told me to stay out to stay out of her feelings. To stay, to stay out of her feelings. She has to see me once. Give me a minute. Oh, it's almost two o'clock. It was so loud, and they wouldn't let me. I'm a man. Oh, man, if you can't handle the presence, you better leave, babe. <laughs> what? I said, I'm, I'm my, my voice is deep. I am loud because I am a man. If you can't handle the presence, you got to leave. What you talking about? <laughs> so, I ain't talking about, about? <laughs> Stop cussing. I ain't talking about nothing we're talking about. I'm just talking what junk. You talk Talking about boy. Listen, I'm a man. Since I was 18 plus, I was a man. Okay, and I'm Jamaican. Jamaican men, even though I was born in America, they we we become man young. Yeah, yeah, man. I mm -hmm. hear you. We got to take territory. We have to understand women. Mm -hmm. Do you you understand women? Okay, you are too. Dreamy. Unfortunately, too much. Huh? Unfortunately, too much. The tears. Are you going to bed? I was not going to go nowhere. You go brush your teeth. <laughs> what were you? What did you say? Yeah, unfortunately, I know too much about women. Sometimes I wish I didn't know. No, I don't think you know uh, too much about women. All right, let me let me read this. Let me read. I'm gonna read this again. So, well, matter of fact, um, let me see. I'm gonna tell you about a woman that that's most desired. All right, tell me if you agree. These these women are some of the most desired women. And of course, all the traits don't have to apply, but certain ones. All right. So your top tier woman, they're easygoing and easy to get along with. 
very patient, nurturing, humble, accountable, and wise. Not difficult, insufferable, or intolerable, or argumentative. You with me so far? Right? They've mastered their emotions and self-awareness. They embrace their femininity, cooperation, submission, and friendliness. They mainly don't argue with men unless absolutely necessary. They listen to understand with good faith, not a sense of negativity. They listen to determine if a man's leadership is wise enough for him to be the leader, or if he's a man to walk away from. These women embrace their nature and have a plan in life. They are thorough and swooped up in mass by eligible thorough men. They're top tier and they're, they're becoming more rare. Many believe strong is being difficult when that increases the chances of going through what, life what alone. Happened? Sorry, give me a minute. Yes, Nab, I created that within five minutes Um, when I did it. It was weird. It's like whenever I'm typing or ready to do stuff, I can create stuff so fast in my mind. Well, help him wash his face. You're the sister. He's going for the phone. I didn't even play with anything. I did my homework all day. She said, who am I? I am King Betacuda. She don't know. Sorry, I am babe. a self-proclaimed cerebral inquirer of the land, babe. That's who I am. What's your name? Nav126. <laughs> six, six. I am self-proclaimed shrewd as hell. So you can either think I'm very smart or you think I'm dumb or whatever. You think I'm dumb, I will pour the wool over you. Dr. Phil, that's it, Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil, me and him would have a good debate. <laughs> Yo, you see that? What do you see when that kid snapped on Dr. Phil? <laughs> Ooh, what you doing? <laughs> Nothing. Jesus. See, I need, to... hmm? I need to get you on this live because you be. I don't know what you be doing. I'm listening. I'm listening to you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. What do you think about that? As far as matter of fact, let me go to what women desire in men. Hold on. Why so, do you have to read? This is this is this is reading what what I've made. Okay, I'm gonna read it quick. Now, let me let me see if you agree. This is what you want, and if this is what a strong man is, top tier man, right? Top tier strong man. All right, a direct, stern, strong-willed yet open-minded man with a strong sense of direction. Do you agree with that? The what? A top tier, the strong man. Right? He is a direct, stern, strong-willed yet open-minded man with a strong sense of direction. Okay. Do you agree with that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right. A masculine, disciplined man who can appropriately express his emotions while, rem while remaining logical to not stray from his path in life. He's self-aware, not abusive, not a negative being. But this is what people don't really understand. A man is also a human being. Like, listen, 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 listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That does not. This is human being. It doesn't. Well, yeah. What's that mean? What's a human being? A person that's a man is also like a like a woman. We all. Be no, we're not like one. Woman. We're not the same. No. Man. If we were the same, we would be able to get along the same. We 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 have. We have similarities, but we're different. That's why we always get the arguments so dag on much. Well, y'all women like to argue. Y'all argue with each other on this. <laughs> no, listen. Men argue too. Men argue too. Men argue too. I'm not getting my point. My, my point is, a man, yes, a man is supposed to take care of his woman, supposed to be a man. You know what I mean? Like, protect your woman, do all this stuff. But at the end of the day, he's also a human being. T what does that mean? Oh, he's supposed to be all oh, uh, not negative. People go through shit. People, a man is also so, human. Stop being... cussing. So, first of all, listen. What I just said was top tier strong men. Of course, you're imperfect. You're going to be negative at some point, but overall, you're trying to be positive. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This, this this is about who the heck is trying to cam up? Which people would tell me who they are? I'm not cam up anybody. You ask me. Oh Lord, who is? I got people. Who is? Who is? Who? Who is this? Hope she knows 
that this is going on YouTube because <laughs> I was trying to start my page. You know, if I go live, I'll thrive. Please don't post me. <laughs> hey. Hello. Who is this? You got to show your face. This is Nab. That's the rule. You got to show your face. I know who I'm speaking to. At least I see your face and then you can uh, put your camera. Hello. Okay. Okay. Hey. 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 Hi. What you talking about, my boy? Well, well first of all, I'm a man. So you're a man. I mean, yeah. You see, you see this? I think see this? you just call yourself a man because you have a dick. Is this correct? <laughs> well, that, that's a part. That's a part of being a man. I hope it's a part. I mean, but a man is a, a, a male, eighteen plus, who's about his word and who's, uh, who commits to what he says, uh, no matter what his capabilities are. Okay, so um, my question to you is. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Keen Bay and that is TMI. <laughs> See, people can find out. Listen, okay, people can find out a name. It's okay. Oh, it's hold okay, on, hold it's on. Okay. It's okay. So, um, what do you have to offer a woman? As you being a man that you are, man in the house, what do you have to offer? Because right now, it looks like you're reading from a, a, a screen or reading from a dialogue. So, can you go ahead? You gotta see that's that's the issue as well. You ladies ask mm -hmm. questions and you keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. And wonder why I man get frustrated. But you would just <laughs> keep on going. You would just keep on going. Because going. this is my life. Because this is I'm the host of this live. I so I life. have listened. We don't have. There is no. There is a seniority here. Uh, I'm generally listen. Listen, what I'm saying. I'm generally our speech first talking and replying to a woman's comments. I'm the host. Right? If yeah. I was a female, it would be the I same way. Promise. So check this out. Listen, hear me out. Hear me out. So then Rubina came up. We're talking. I'm where she asked me a question. I asked her a question. I'm reading something that I that I made. You want to see? This is something I made. Hold on. Let me see my camera. So it is a script, but it's my script. Because why would I try to go off of, ain't no rapper, try to go off of repeat. This is, this is me. Hold on. Let me see. That's, that's me. That's something I wrote. You understand? Right. So I I'm asking her. So I'm asking her what she thinks about it. It's it's my work. So it is what it is. Well, Even if it was somebody else, I was, going, we don't really understand because you keep going and going. Like you gotta take that's, some kind of break. You gotta listen. You gotta Same stop. Way. You're not gonna understand if you don't know how to listen. That's why when I went over the second part with her, I read sentences and I was pausing. What do you think? And then she, after two sentences, she took it into a whole other direction. I wasn't even there yet. You know what I'm saying? So I, I broke it down. The first one I read about the woman, I didn't break it down to see how she caught on to it. But she was interrupted. So the second one, I broke it down. And then when I broke it down, she went somewhere else. <laughs> right. Okay, okay. So, what are you like? Because I'm trying to gather what you're reading, because I'm really not understanding. What like, I'm what reading. I'm... Well, then just ask me. What I'm reading is my perspective. What a top tier strong man is. What you would call a high value or high demand man. Certain aspects. What most women want in a man. Mm. Do you want me to? I can go over and break it down and see if you agree. See, I'm about, if you don't agree, that's okay, fine. I use the challenge. So, okay, go ahead. Read your, read your little stuff. It's big stuff. Big, big stuff over here, baby. All right, read All your right. big stuff. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Say, say it again, say it again. Stroke my ego. Read, read your big stuff, my boy. My guy. My. <laughs> All right, so listen. This is my perspective what a top-tier strong man is. A direct, stern, strong-willed, Yet open minded man with a strong sense of direction. That's the first sentence. What do you think about that? I'll be back. Okay. No, all right, all right. What, what? Know, I don't want you to do I don't want you to like read and then say, What do you think? Like, I want you to go and then when I tell you like, okay, stop, then I'm gonna go. Well, so first 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 of all, I'm I'm gonna need you to li listen to me real quick, all right? Does the the host do what does what the host wants? You don't tell the host what he needs to do. You can ask and suggest. <laughs> But listen, listen, Sorry. hold on, so hold on. Now, I'm going to say this. I did that with Rubina. You just said I was going on too long. No, so, no, 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 because I didn't understand. Like, I thought you were just reading. I wasn't understanding when I wasn't in here from the beginning what you was even reading, what was going mm -hmm. on. Now I understand that you're reading 
which you wrote about a strong man, correct? Okay, so, oh uh, yeah, yeah, correct. So that's why it's good to ask that question. But hold on, okay, I'll read it all. All right. So top tier strong men, a direct, stern, strong-willed, yet open-minded man with a strong sense of direction. A masculine, disciplined man who can appropriately express his emotions while remaining logical to not stray from his path in life. He's self-aware, not abusive or a negative being in general. A selfless man who has developed the tools to be a wise leader to make decisions soundly when granted majority control. A man who is entrusted in providing structure, protection, direction, and financial stability. A dangerous man who can protect his territory but knows how to harness and discipline his abilities. Listens to un un respond and understand, not to react negatively. An accountable man who understands the requirements of the mate he chooses. A man who earns respect from his presence and words, from his discernment. A wise man open to counsel. Now, I'll say this. Are you with me so far? Yep, I'm with you. Many strong men are going their own way. Masculinity is being sabotaged and considered toxic due to others' bad experiences with other men they were often told to avoid. Then many want a man until he starts acting like one. And those men can go through life alone, but women need them for status and provision. They need them because women are social creatures at the end of the day. The issue is the word need is problem. See, us men, we want to be needed. We accept it. A lot of women don't want to feel inadequate and say that as well because they think it's weak. But it's okay because it's nature. Male and female, we need each other. We're good. Next. Yeah, well, you have the floor. You I said a lot. You have the floor. Yeah, so let me just tell you something. So on your behalf, you feel like a woman needs a man? I feel I, like... I, oh, hold on, don't hold on. Can I answer that? I gotta answer that. I gotta answer that. Okay. You gotta ask me a question. I answer, right? Well, so I, I don't... I don't feel anything. I'm a man. I don't have the luxury to feel. I know that a woman needs a man. But go ahead. Okay, so that's wrong. That's... Mm, Alright, so how, how is it... Prove me how it's wrong. Right, so I, I feel like we want a man. But we don't need a man. But we want one. Why do you want... Oh, I have a question. Why do you want... Why do you want... Ask you why do you want something you don't need? Okay, so some people want it because they they don't like being alone. Some people want a man just because they need it in their presence. They don't they don't even know what it is to be alone. So they want a man. Some people there's all different reasons why people want a man. But do you need one? Absolutely not. Okay. So when you when you say need. You say you don't need need men in general, or don't need a man for a relationship. Like, what do you mean? You don't need a man in general. Like, you don't need a man. Okay. Like, so, so what happens if all men disappeared? Um, then we're gonna have to do what a man does. Which is what? Which is, I'm gonna say, like a man could be a hard worker, but not all men out here are hard workers, neither. Most men are hard workers, so that's irrelevant. Mm, not really. Yeah. No. yeah. Yes, really. See, if you, unless you have the data, hold on. Unless you have the data to prove that most men are hard workers, you can't say that. It's not correct. I have the data to prove. In a generation that we live in now, the men just sit back while the woman does it all. That's not correct. Uh -huh. So shut this out. <laughs> listen, listen. Did you? Let me talk. I don't want to answer you. Did you know that most women in this country, according to the data, in the U.S. What country are you in, USA? Yeah, I'm in are you, here. You in USA? Okay. Yep. Okay. Most women in this country are chasing the same men. Whether it's a rich man, a good-looking man, a broke good-looking man, bum, they're chasing the same men. You understand? Most men in this country are invisible to women. So that right there alone means, guess what, uh-oh, how do you say men in general do this when yeah. most men are new in this country, when most ladies in my country are chasing these same kind of men? So that right there automatically says, hold on, your day is kind of school because how do you judge all men when you're chasing the minority of men? Uh-oh. 
What do you think, Rabina? You think that no. women need a mirror? I'm asking you a question. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm talking to you. What do you think about that? I think, I still think that men want a man. We don't need a man. Men I don't want know how many times a I've man? Huh? He said men want a man. That women don't need so a man. Let's let me let me let me let me let me check this out. So if men disappear, you guys will not last. The, there are too many predators in this in this, in the territory, whether it's some animals, whether it's whether it's just nature itself, things will fall apart. In the USA, men run about ninety nine percent of the infrastructure, the 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 police force, the, the hard tasks that keep this place going. Now, if men disappear, the women that could do it, they are a minority. And there's not enough of them to teach the majority of women to do it. And then on top of that, by the time, if they, if they could, by the time they get their biology kicks in, the wear and tear, and there's certain physical strength required to lift certain instru instruments in the infrastructure that a lot of ladies, most women cannot do, right? So things are going to fall apart very fast. Now, let's flip that. Let's flip that. Now, if all women disappear, these are the possibilities will happen. Remember this. Men can survive in wars for months and years without women. You understand? The nastiest form of human nature, it happens during war. Men have done this since the beginning of time, right? Now, here's what will happen if all women disappear, right? Men will be very sad, right? There will be a rise in testosterone levels. More than likely, there will be a war. More than likely, there will be a lot of men men in solitude. There may be a war. We might survive. We might take each other out. We might survive and live out the end of our days. There's a whole lot of things that happen. But men, technically, for their lives, they can survive to the end of life, right? If they don't take each other out. If, yeah. say, so listen, when it, when it comes... This is listen. In nature, most mammals. That's how it is. Not nowhere in nature do you see uh, females resisting male leadership because of just because bad males exist. The, females take a look. For example, female lions. They hunt. They're dangerous. They're powerful. Right? They're hunters. But guess what? Bunch. There's a video on the internet. There was like five. You couldn't even scare for crocodile. One male comes, it bet two crocodiles back off. They know the strength, right? They're, now these even there's another video, right? These are like fifteen female lions trying to get a dead zebra from a crocodile. One crocodile got them scared. You can't even hunt. But if the male come along, it's gonna it's gonna back up. There's one thing that one main thing, there's plenty of things, but the main thing that men can do, males can do, the ladies can not do, is the protection and leadership, right? It's women are capable of, but not in the numbers to be substantial. But go ahead, I said a lot. <laughs> just, just think of this. It is my my job as a, as a man to lead and protect, I have to know about myself and know about you. I have to be more correct in most situations. If you run into a man that's less correct than you, he may not be the man for you. You better find a better one because you want the best you can get, right? You want someone you can look up to, right? Is that what you want? You ladies want someone you can admire. You can sit back and know he got this. He's he's your man. Mm. Or do you want somebody to the baby and cuddle? You're just uh, <laughs> like you're not talking reality. That's the problem. See, that's the what, problem. So this, still, hold on, hold on, hold on. So so far, I'm not talking reality, but you don't have nothing to refute my points. Because I don't agree. If, and, um, if, these are, and and what you say is an opinion. No, it's what, not, what I say is a fact. Uh, it, can you prove uh, it's an opinion? Because I just prove what you said is an opinion. See, I I, need, I go off of facts. I don't I, I don't care about opinions unless they're based off of facts. Because I'm a man, I have to know the the lay of the land. I don't have the I don't have the luxury of fantasizing. If I fantasize as a man, reality catches up to me super fast. As a lady, depending on the kind of government you're in, you can fantasize a lot all you want. But reality will eventually catch up to you sooner or later, which is happening in, in our country, right? In my millennial woman's 
they're facing it, they're depressed, and I can't save them because a certain minority of men lie to them. And I don't have the power to check those men because the average woman won't get behind the average man. So the government she just like babies who need coddling, and the men, a lot of men, go ahead. My question is, so if you feel like these people are depressed, why are you looking at, like, outside your country? Like, why are you looking for other women outside your country? Why, instead of helping these people, so, instead of being there for them, why are you leaving yeah. them? Okay, I'm going to answer that. So, men, especially a lot of black, have tried for years, years to help these women, years to help. But a minority of men and businesses said, hey, we're giving you power over men. Power destroys people. That's why men put checks on it. They yeah. said you have infinite res. Listen, you have infinite response. You are better than men. You can do. You can be just like a man. You can do whatever. These women ate it up, and the good men like me speaking up, we got drowned out. No. We got drowned out. Power. Look, so hmm? they have power. They want power, and it's ruining everything. But you want power over women, right? You want what? the power. Women, women want us to have power over them, but they don't want to admit it. Just have to listen. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Why do you think the majority of women are tracing men who are more powerful, more status than them? They're facing. You say facing. Why do you think the majority of women in my country, if you believe this, if you believe, like if you don't believe, we we'll have to get into details. But if you believe, the majority of women. In my country, USA, are chasing men who are above them, who are more powerful than them. Why is that? I don't know. I'm not American. Because in nature, universal, every daggone country, women want someone who's better than them. They want a man who's who. Because you'll you'll see women say in my country they want a man making the same or more. When in reality, they want someone making more. They just don't want to feel inadequate and say the same or more, you know? They push, They want the best they can get, and men generally want the most they can get. That's our nature, right? There are certain things of each nature to fight. I preach this. I tell men, control your Johnson. Think with your brain, because if you, if you don't think with your Johnson, you're clear. That You have automatic post not clarity. You don't need it. You, you hold women accountable. You tell reality. You don't move with a scarcity mindset. I tell women... Stop being extreme. If a woman stops being extreme, to the, they are able to use intuition, which is barely ever wrong, and figure and differentiate men and figure out what's right from wrong. You know what? I, thing, to be honest with you, I feel like you just want power over women. You just want someone who's going to woman hold and listen to see, everything. That what, so hold on. What what care. kind of power? Do, hold on. What kind of power do I want? You just want. You wanna you wanna have power over other people, and you know that you cannot have power over men. Now you want power over women, cause you know they don't have the the energy exactly. That's what I'm thinking, because so, most men who keep saying that women are supposed to do this and this and this for for men, women are supposed to take care of men, women are supposed to cook for men, women are supposed to do all this stuff for men because I'm a man. That is so stupid. That is so weird to me because it feels like you want power over people. You wanna you wanna feel that power. You wanna you wanna you feel like you're better than women. You feel like you're better than. So, uh, so you feel like thinking. Sorry, go ahead. All hey, right, so now are you? Are you let, me tell you, let me finish because we've been talking. Where I come from, right? I know, yeah. Where, go ahead. Where I come from, where I come from, it's it's naturally like women are supposed to take care of them. Nat like this is how it is. I'm from Tanzania. I'm from Africa. You're supposed to take care of your man, but it does not mean that you praise that man. And most men want to be praised nowadays. When I come home, when I say you do this, you do it. When I say you do, nah. That is, that's the, that, and this is why I've been listening to a lot of men saying, oh, you know, I want to go to Africa because African women, uh, what is it, what's the word? They obey. Is it obey? Submissive what is it? or agreeable, same thing. Like that. It's submissive you know but the truth is we are submissive in a different way not like the way that you all think hold on i'm gonna get a hold on stop 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 rubina which way do we think a submission is um 
they will do whatever we want them to do. They will listen to us. They, will, they won't know their worth. They don't know their worth. They will never know how it feels. It's so, so incorrect. That's not what most men want here. They don't want women to do anything. We do not want no, uh, in general, we do not want some some bimbo who is easily sustained. We want a smart woman. We want a woman who knows that she has the best she can got. She trusts our leadership in most situations. That she agrees to let us have the final say, right? Because she trusts us for the most I, part. Right, but what my point is, you people, like most men in America, I'm sorry to say this, I'm not trying to be Okay, go ahead. Most men in America keep saying, oh, Amer women in America are like this. They do, they just, they're crazy and all that. I feel like they know their worth. That's why you don't want no, it. No, no. So let me answer that. Let me answer that. If they know their worth, listen, Rubin, if they know their worth, why do prof our professional female dating coaches quitting and saying these women have unrealistic expectations? They're done. Because they're not the men, because the woman, if they, if they know their worth, if they're bringing something that's tangible, why are professional women quitting dealing with women in my country? Professional men quitting dealing with women no. in your country? Why are professional women quitting date coaching women? April Wilson is one of them. I can name some others. They are, they are tired because of women and their unrealistic explanations they, what they, according to these professional women who talk to thousands of females, say all these females want to do is bring themselves and their vagina to the table. They expect them to do this, this, everything. And their, and their expectations are unrealistic. doesn't even make any sense. These are female professionals who talk to more women than you, you or I have in their entire lives and are saying this. Ask your Why is that? These professional women... This professional is your opinion. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, stop interrupting her. Go ahead. These professional women who are trying to teach women what to do, are they even in a relationship? Most of them are saying all this shit, but they're not even in a relationship. They're not even married. Please, Most of them on. come to think. Hold on, please stop, cross. So listen, you got a point there. A woman is judged by who she married. So you're in your, and I, and I believe you're correct. Because I, I say it's my opinion because I don't have the facts to to say it. I believe most aren't married, right? But I know some that are married, like Chance Day, She's married. Pink Book Lessons, married to a high-value man. They're giving this advice, and they're married. Uh, Crimson Cure, she was, but I think he passed. I'm not sure. Shaha Ali, she was, but he passed. These women are married, giving the same counsel as a lot of single women. Okay. Now the some hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on. Now there are some of the single women. Hold on hold on hold that thought. Yeah, there sure. are some of the single women. Hold Rabina, it's called respect. Hold on one second. I'm answering your question. There leave. are some of the single counselors that are have turned out to be chameleons too. Like they can regurgitate certain talking points, but when stuff hits the fan, they're 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 saying the truth, but they lie too when it comes down to it. So it's confusing woman. But go ahead. At the same time. Time, even all these people that you're talking about, they're married, they're in a relationship, they're te teaching people. You don't know what happens inside the closed doors. You'd never know what's really happening inside. So, First of all, no so, other woman will come to me and tell me, oh, you're supposed to do this because this is how you're supposed to keep a man. I'll keep a so man. So, how do you? So, my okay. question to you is you, you critique the professionals, but who are you to critique the professionals? What the fuck? Hold on. I can be I'm just no, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying. What I'm saying is, you're saying you said we can listen to the professionals, but we don't know what's going on behind doors. But I'm asking a question back because listen, it's not the, the attack you nothing. Know, a lot of people say, who are people do this? Who are people do that? But I ask, who are they to critique the people saying information? You know what I'm saying? So that says we all have our own opinions. We can all have our own opinions and personal facts but we cannot have our own general but facts. What? If these yeah. are professionals that go off of data that millionaires pay for, it is it's the best we have. We can't break down every single detail. No, but we have general facts, and they say, believe our woman, right? <laughs> believe our woman, right? If women are saying this and saying that, really and we're believing do. them. That's not if we're believing them, and their actions so different, or their actions and their actions, we got to go off of that, right? Because believe our woman, right? 
Believe yes. my woman, right? <laughs> like, so, let's, right. Let's, let's just be let's just be real. That's let's just I'm be real. real. No, seriously. Mm -hmm. Like I ain't gonna listen to another woman. I, I don't even know. Like they don't even know my situation. Relationships are different. How I deal with people, it, how she deals with people is different. So how am I gonna I get, listen to but, with how but, she? Hold on, hold on. So, so why should another woman listen to what you just said? I'm not telling no mother. I ain't telling no woman. I'm, I'm just no, no. Listen, Rubina, Rubina, calm down. Listen, I am. Calm. I I'm get. Just, and she, she, I get what you're saying, right? But I'm saying though, you said that. But I'm saying what you just said. It makes sense. But I'm saying if if you're able to answer, it, why should a woman take that advice of what you just said? If if you can. Advising. I'm not here to advise nobody. But, I, am no, I, I get what you're saying. Well, listen. If we, when we speak, well, our words have power. Even if you're not here to advise them, well, you're giving your, you're giving, you're giving me input, which is slightly to advise me when it comes to the last woman, whether you like it or not. So I'm just asking what you said. If you believe it sound, why do you think they should listen to what you just said? They can decide not to listen to them. No, I'm not here. So no, okay. So that's so I'm, you're not going to answer my question. So that's fine because you probably don't even know what the heck. Never mind. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. Listen. Yes, there are. Every relationship is different, but there are general facts of relationships. Agree this. Most women want a man that can lead. Yes or no? A leader. I don't yes. want a leader. No, no. It's a simple question. No. Do most women want or want think they want a man who can lead? It to be like what? No, listen. Like no, that you see. Listen, Asking that's extreme. Listen, a leader. Listen, let me hold on. Let me tell you this. Hold on. Let me tell you this. Let me let me give you the definition. What is power? Right, power, the ability to do something or act in a particular way, especially as a faculty or quality. Also, the capacity or ability to direct or influence the behavior of others or the course of events. That's what power is, right? I people need to have power. In order to do that, a man needs majority power. Or, or fine, let's let the woman have the power. Because you ladies, a lot of you, tend to have no issue with women having power. But apparently, because bad men exist, a lot of you have issues with men. Have, I'm, I'm just saying, a lot of, I'm not saying all. I'm saying a lot of ladies. You, Barracuda, let people talk. When you no, talk, you're supposed to let people no, talk. No, 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 stop. No, 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 no. We're not, we're not doing that here. We're not doing that here. No. Uh, because, listen. When I'm talking, when I'm talking, you try to cut me off. And I say, hold on, hold on. When you're talking, the only time I cut you off is when you say, ask a question or say something like, yo, can I understand that better? Or can I ask you, can I get that, can I answer I, that question? That's the only time I cut you off. Can I say something? Yeah. When we, we, we don't have an issue when women want power. That's mm -hmm. what you say. Am I wrong? I, I said many women seem to not have an issue with ladies having power <laughs> well let me let me let me tell you one thing okay i have a problem with most women i have a problem with some women who actually have a lot on their table especially when they have a lot of money or they have a position some of them actually really act weird they act really bad when it comes to mm -hmm. relations that is true i've seen it with my own eyes you know what I mean? It does not that we don't have issues with that. We don't have a problem with that. Some of us do. Because if you're not going to be, if you, if you want to be masculine, you want to be like a man, how are you going to find a man? I, I, I've seen that before. I've seen it. I know people. But at the end of the day, a relationship is a relationship. It's supposed to be friends, best friends before anything else. So why are you going to come here? How are you going to come here and tell me, oh, a leadership? It's supposed to, a man is supposed to lead. Or who this is, no, you're a man, yes, you're a man. It's in the Bible. You're a man, you're supposed to have you're supposed to take care of your woman, all that, but it does not mean that you're supposed to lead me. You're supposed to be, oh, you're doing this. Because I'm saying that you're doing it. No, I'm not gonna do it. Especially me, you're gonna tell me do it. I want you oh, I won't do it. I'm gonna do my way because this is not how a relationship is supposed to be. A relationship is supposed to be, you know, equal. And not equal. You can you can have a little bit, you know, because you're a man. By the end of the day, do not tell me what to do. <laughs> I, will I will understand if it's necessary. Okay. If I'm supposed to understand, but do not tell me this is what you're supposed to do. 
it's necessary that you do it because I'm a man. Nope. You ready for me? All right. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. All right. So you said, I'm going to go in order. You said some or most women abuse power. Which is it? Some or most? Which one will you, will you want to go with? Some. Okay. Some. Okay. Now, you said some no, some no. act where it's where not. where with power, all right? Huh? No. Like guys, so you, you said come to think of it. No, it's, it's not. No, it's not leading. Leading. I find I I when huh? I think of of leading something different, like you're leading. What are you talking you know, about? Like, if I want to go this side, you go and go. If you you know, it's different. Yeah, well, That's what I'm thinking. Well, yeah. Well, I'm I'm trying to just go with go in order, keep it simple, because you know us, man. We're simple creatures. All right. Is the little you ladies make fun of us? Oh, you guys, yes, we're simple creatures. We keep it simple so we can lead. All right. So she said, at the moment, most women abuse power. That's correct. Um. So, but we're going with your sum, though, right? Okay. So what you say? Because I'm going to leave you soon. You know, I came to visit my sister, and then I'm here. What is up? Richard was allowing me talking to him, talk because I could talk to my screen. And, you know, he's, you know, I you I can you up because you know you look good and you know so I want to see you, see how you doing, and I want to be called a POS because you know you, you like that. Not so now. I'm gonna just say this. I'm going back home soon, but I'll I'll be able to be to go live there. I mean, well, I'm, I'm well when this thing ends, I'm ending it because uh, I think people trying to come up because. Uh, who the hell? Okay, no, I came up with a second. But my yeah. thing is this: I'll say, I'll say this, right? So, if, if there's a few women that abuse, abuse power, do you think it's some, half, or most men that abuse power? Some, not okay. like most. So some, so some. Like... Hold on. So, so, so this opinions. So, if if some men and some women abuse power, okay. So. Who do you trust to be in power more, men or women, to to be giving you instruction? Who's what? Sorry, I was. Who who would you trust more to give you instruction? Some men or some women? Instruction. Yeah, to give you leadership instruction. Who would you trust more, men or women? God. Come on, come on now. God, God gave, God gave, oh, oh, you brought God into it. Who did God, I don't want to get you, who did God say she, <laughs> you set yourself up, you set yourself up. So who did God say is to be the leader? <laughs> you follow him, you follow me with you following your husband. Why submit to your husband is submitting to me. You put the man up. Oh, you should know what that. Gotcha, man. Don't run. Don't run. <laughs> but I'll be honest with you. Most women do not trust other female leadership. They trust male leadership because they know how it is to be a woman. And many women are unsure of themselves, which is okay. That's what, there you go. The thank you, uh, Shella, Shella, you should cut him up, Sheila. Look cute too. Damn, who the hell is this? But anyway, anyways, um, it, they tr trust they trust the man. So, well, if, if, if the people that wrote the Bible it goes against men's wishes and carnal desires, so why would men go against carnal desires unless it was man instruction? Thank you, Sheila. The Bible said marriage should lead. So, this, so the man is to have the majority power. So what I've seen in research, the most happiest women in the world are serving a man, someone who's better than them, who has more control and power, who doesn't abuse their power. If a man abuses power, obviously, forget him. But we're talking about what's ideal, what's wanted. See, I say neuroticism is having ladies, you got to get ready for that negativity. A lot of women, ladies used to have good faith. But listen, y'all started chasing, not you, I don't know, but a lot of them start chasing the same men, men that look good like me, tall and muscular, and a lot of those men got overinflated egos, egos, and abuse things. Humans with too much power tend to abuse things. It's like ladies, they got all the power in the country, in the USA. What are they doing? 
abusing things. They're abusing kids, abusing men, abusing each other. They're abusing things. They don't want to hold accountable for it. The the number the 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 percentage of women who are doing abusing power compared to men in my country is this this is the men, this is the woman. Because a minority of men gave them gave them gave them power. But they they don't like accountability because it's always imperfection. So like, hmm. Um, um it depends on the insecurity, Marie. Certain insecurities are good. It depends on what it is. What's the look of insecurity? Wait, I want my sister to explain to you a little bit about what you gonna what you gonna explain. Just let her know this is this is this is live is being said and it's all right now. Explain to him, like, but don't explain to him what. Hi. Hey. 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 Don't. Hey. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what are you explaining to me? Ah. Uh, come on, Wendy. No, she just came here and asked me, like, is it necessary that a man should lead a woman? Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm not sure, but mm -hmm. it's okay if he leads you, but your opinion mm -hmm. also matters. You can mm -hmm. just say, yes, what you're telling me is so right, but if we do one, two, three, four, it will make it better. Mm -hmm. You can just bring your opinion in. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Are you, you, okay, I answer that, or you, you still don't? Pardon? Okay. Okay. So check this out. So let me tell you. See, mm -hmm. women. A lot of women are extreme, <laughs> right? But when I say this, listen. Oh, look at y'all. They're listen when they're extreme, right? They'll be like, okay, they want a man wants to, he wants all the power. And I have no opinion. Men aren't like that. See, that's extreme. That's the highest extent, right? Mm -hmm. Most men want to lead. And they want they respect the wife's opinion. At the same time, they want a woman who trusts them to make the final decision because most women have showed they want a man who makes the final decision. We do what women say they we hear what women say they want and what women do. We're giving you what you want. And when we realize you give a woman too much what you want, she's unsatisfied and say she don't like it. So we have to set parameters. Because, you know, you don't want to give a woman all she wants. You want to keep her on her toes. But if you give a man all he wants, nine times out of ten, he's going to reciprocate that. He will give his life for you. That's just how we are. We're very yes. simple creatures. You yes, know? I, if you I, give I, me I, what I want. Listen, if I tell you, hey, beautiful every day, man, you're like, ugh, get out of here. If you say, hey, handsome every day, man, I'm going to go out there and fight the world. She called me, what? Oh, she gave it to me every day? Okay. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to, yeah, I'm strong, man. She called me, hey, handsome, y'all, yeah, man. What's the best you got? Yes, yes sir, yes, sir. That's just our difference. Exactly. Okay. So, Listen. so, what? He's just saying that she's not rejecting your opinion with what you're saying. No. Right. I'm not rejecting her either. I'm just explaining that, I'm explaining not her, but other women, how they be extreme. And I'm letting her know that. Most men, we want you to have opinion. Well, listen, we don't want no, most men do not want no woman with no intelligence. We want a smart woman, a fit woman, a feminine woman, and a woman who can nurture our kids. That's what we want. That's what most of us want. So, if we can get marry, that one. Who's going to marry a dumb woman? Hmm? Was Say what? No, nothing. But anyways. Okay. Um, yeah, but I'm saying, but but there's a lot of women in our country that think men just want bimbos. They're, they're extreme. They don't know how to resist being extreme. Resist, can you, listen, can ladies. You listen, add, uh, when, can you add Sheila? Ooh. I will, Sheila. yeah. Sheila. Yeah, I'll send it to her. Let me see. see. I don't know how. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I Sheila, I don't know if I um go live with Sheila. I think I accidentally removed her, but I, I think it's, uh, I brought her up. But this is because, look, I, the reason why I have this knowledge is because I listened to older men and older women my entire life. So that's why I, at an early age, and, and plus with being in religion, I learned this stuff in my t before my teen years. That's why it just it's muscle memory to me. I don't need stats and data to talk about this. And Sheila, I add you if you want to, you don't have to cam up if you don't want to. You can um just become up if you want to. I think I... Hey, Sheila, let me know if you're still here anyway. So I think I actually kicked you. Jeez. Oh, she's here. I think she's here. It says, um, Sheila. Hey, hey, hey.
Let I'm trying to see because I think I accidentally um pressed the button and it kicked her from the line. Sheila, respond if you're here, please. <laughs> oh no, technology. As young as I supposedly am, technology is the devil. But either way it goes, um, she's unable to join. Dang, uh, Sheila, we'll do. Uh, I'm gonna screenshot that because I'll do a live with her sometime. We'll need to hear that. Yeah, on. Damn. Damn it. I hope I didn't um, restrict her from live bass because I clicked too fast. I don't like IG, man. I mean, not man, woman. Dag on it. I think she's gone. Anyway. But, so, it, woman had determined they want to... Ruby, I'm going to say this. I ain't ready to go. Listen, woman and around the world... Huh? Let me leave you. Let me leave. Oh, Sheila is back. Sheila, you don't want to get in? Sheila can. Sheila. Sheila. I'm sorry. Oh, she's, a, she's on the road. Oh, no, we don't want to because IG got new rules. <laughs> Someone's driving. Okay. <laughs> you good, Sheila? <laughs> Sheila, we definitely got to do a live sometime. Don't be. They look, Sheila, Sheila, don't be sorry for something up in the United Hold on, Sheila. You texting and driving. That's dangerous. You, I'd rather you talk than text and drive. <laughs> Hi, Brianna. But um, I always tell women, I'm like, you texting me. I'm like, just call. Like, no, I'm like, yo, texting and just put it on speaker and talk to me. We're having That's easier. Because you ladies like to text and get all your voice. And then when I find women who like to talk on the phone, they be using masks. And I'm like, oh, can't win for losing. Can't win for losing. <laughs> Yeah. It was nice anyway. Oh, yeah. We're gonna have different opinions, but remember that we have we can't have our own different facts. We have to come to conclusion on facts. Remember that. Peace out. I'm gonna end this. Huh? Hang out with my family. I'll I'll holler. Is that a butterfly? I'll holler when I when I get home. Oh, you gonna holler? You gonna holler? holler. Hmm. I mean, I'll go live. Oh, you can go live. I'm gonna be busy, but you gonna holler, holler, though. Stop it. We're not <laughs> I'm <laughs> waiting for you to say it. You ain't said it yet. Glad <laughs> with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I appreciate you, Angela. You're a very, very smart woman. But at the same time, some things you're incorrect about. And you messed yourself up when you said, with God, when you brought God into it, I got you. I got you. I got you. I'll see you later. I'm gonna end this. Alright. Alright, here we go.